In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a fillable Likert scale questionnaire using Microsoft Word. If you want to work with a STEM exercise like me, you can download the file in the description box. So let's get started. To add the features and make your questionnaire fillable, you need to activate the developer tabs. To do this, go to the left top here, click it, and then go to the more commands. Search at the customized ribbon at the left side here, at the right side, you can check the developer tabs and also the edits, okay? And then click OK. You'll notice that you have a developer tab appear at the top of your screen. Developer tab has many features that allows you to create an enhanced questionnaire and make it professional. So first, let's add a text field for the name question. So let's click the field here and then at the developer tab, at the controls group, you can choose the rich text and also the plain text. I'll explain at the end what is the difference between these two options. For now, let's use the plain text. Click it, and you'll have a field appear at the cursor, and then at the properties here, you can click it and do a bit of modification. You can add a title, a tag, and also change the show as option here. I prefer to make it just default, and then click OK. So you can type like name, uh, like JSON, and so on. Okay? Then, for the stacks, let's make it appear as a drop-down list. So, developer tabs provides two options also, the drop-down list and also the combo box. The difference is the combo box allow a user to add another option to the box. So, you can create a specific option that we don't provide in the questionnaire. But, in the drop-down list, the user or the respondent can also choose the selected option that we provide, okay? So first, let's use the drop-down list content control. And then here, click the properties. Okay, and at the bottom, you can see the display name here and we will add the value. So the display name is, let's say, formal. The value is one. It's uh, important to add value here if you want to analyze it in the future. And then for the female, the value is two. Okay, now then click OK. So, when you click the drop-down list, you can choose only these two options, male or female. You cannot type any specific option, okay? So, let's make it default. For the edge questions, let's just add the plain text, okay? Click it, and then add the properties. I think we don't need to add anything. So, let's just leave it by default. For education level, let's make it as the combo box. Remember? Combo box provides flexibility for the user so they can add their own answer to the field. So let's use the combo box here and then at the properties, let's set up the drop down list. Click the add here and then let's say the display name is senior high school. The value is 1 and then for undergraduate, the value is 2 and for the master. The value is 3. So let's say we only provide these three options to the respondent. They can also type their own answer by just typing it manually. Let's say they have a doctoral degree, so they can type it in this field. Okay, you can just add a specific hint so they can type it manually. Okay. Let's move it into the checks box. The checklist allows the respondent to add a specific sign like checks for the answer that they want. Okay, so here let's click the area for the cursor and then at the controls group again, let's click the checkbox content control. Okay, when you click this box, it shows the X sign. Okay, you can change it in the properties field. So go to the properties. And then at the check it symbol here, let's click change. And at the font windings 2, you can choose the check sign that you want. So there is a check like this, but I prefer to use the check sign and also the square. Click OK. And after that, uh, you can also change the unchecked symbol. Then also click OK. So you see that uh, there is a difference between before and after you change the symbol. Okay. You can also add another uh, checkbox option at the bottom. I prefer to just copy and paste it. Press Ctrl C and then Ctrl V for the whole option. Okay, great. 
The first step of your questionnaire is looking good. Let's move to the Likert scale question. Okay, you have uh, five questions here and there is four options. So the respondent can choose it from very dissatisfied to very satisfied. There is a one, two, three, four value here and we will add a dot here. So the respondent can choose it based their on preference. We will use the option button or radio button. So when one option is active, the another button will be inactive. I'll show you how. Click the area, go to developer tab, add a controls group, click the arrow sign here and then click the option button. Let's set up the properties to make it dynamic. Click the properties here and then you see the several option. The group name is the field that you need to pay attention. If you have more than one option button and it belongs to the same group name, there will be one option button that can be activated. That's how you to make it dynamic as a Likert scale options. So let's make it the group name is such as Q1. You can also add your own name to your uh, exercise. And then for the caption, let's just remove it because we don't need it. Okay, close it. Let's add another option button. Developer tabs and then add the option box. Okay, to the properties. Remember, the group name must be same. So let's make it the group name is Q1 and the caption is removed. Okay, let's reduce the size. Let's add another option button. I'll make it clear for you so you can understand it easily. The group name is also Q1 and the option button is blank. Okay, let's reduce the size. I'll add another option button. And the group name is Q1. The caption, let's remove it. Okay, now let's inactivate the design mode. You'll notice that if you click one of the option here, it's only one that you can active. But if you didn't make it as the same group, you can activate this four option button at the same time. So that's how to make it dynamic for the each question. Okay, you can repeat this process for the whole question that you have in your question. Let me repeat this step for the next questions. Let's add another option box like this and then go to the properties. Let's make the group name for the next question is Q2. Okay, and then for the caption, let's just remove it. Let's reduce the size and repeat this process again. You can also use Ctrl C and Ctrl V if you want, but in this case, I'll show you in manual to make it easier to understand. Okay, let's just reduce the size and then add the option box again. The group name is the Q2, okay. And for the caption, just remove it. Okay, here add another option. The properties, the group name is the Q2. Okay, add the option button, let's just remove it because we don't need it. And you can Notice that when you inactivate the design mode, you can select one of the options for each question in your questionnaires. And for the rest of the questions, let me just fasten up the process. Okay, now creating the option button for the whole questions is finished. And as you can see, you can only select one option for each question. The key is in the group name. So make sure that you have the same group name for the same question. Okay. After that, if you want to use another field to add a text, you can use, remember, plain text and rich text. I'll show you the difference. First, let's use the rich text content control and let's type one response. Let's say increase the phone number. Okay, and then if you use the rich text content control, it provides more customization. Let's say you want to change the color of this text only, you can change it just by using this feature okay let's say this you want to change into green and so on it's only affected the selected text if you use the plain text like this let me show you let's add the plain text content control and then let's create one 
plus one increase the cs numbers okay if you change the color of one selected area like this let's say you change it into green the whole text change into green automatically that is the difference between the plain text and which text you can also add a date picker so the respondent can fill the date when they fill up this questionnaire to do this go to the developer tab controls group and then select date picker content control and then add the properties you can also do some modification here and then let me select the display that just like this after that if you select a specific date you see that the appearance is just like this okay it's more beautiful for the final section you can lock the question of this questionnaire so the respondent can only fill the selected form or the selected field that we prefer so they only can fill up the questionnaire to do this go to developer tab and click the restrict editing after that, add the formatting restrictions, check the limit formatting to a selection of styles, add the editing restrictions, check the option allow only this type of editing in the document, and at the option here, let's select the filling in form. So you allow the users can only fill the forms that you prepare. And at the start enforcement, we will start the protection here, and you can also add the password. So when you want to edit, this document you need to type a password and in this term i don't want to use the password so just click ok and as you can see i cannot edit any field here and i only can choose the selected field that i prefer so it's best to use it in a survey or research so it can be checked you can also select the uh, like scale options and so on I think that's all, have a good day, see you in the next video.